Fresno County are four days in to studying from home. CBS 47 Jocelyn Moran spoke with parents and staff members today with how schools are helping families with this new transition. Jocelyn. Well, Ken Catherine, with schools in Fresno County closing, students aren't just missing out on classroom learning. They're also missing out on essential meals. That's why schools are working to make sure they get both. How many? Three. Three? Okay. What happens Three. Is the lack of yesterday. Three. Go ahead. Have good a good morning. day, guys. Three. With their children in the back seat, parents drive by to pick up breakfast and lunch for their kids at Sequoia Elementary in the Sanger Unified School District. They say it makes a big difference. We're really grateful. I have a neighbor that's staying with us for a couple of days. I have my niece visiting. So it really helps out. At 1130 a.m. today, the line wrapped around the parking lot. The process takes dozens of volunteers to pack the lunch and then distribute them. Our kids need and our families need some sense of normalcy in this time right now. And you know what? Our staff needs it too. It's just important for our families to know that the school system, the schools are always going to be here for them and do what we can for them. The school closure is only four days old. School staff are still trying to figure out how to best teach their students from home, either virtually or through work packets. One of my favorite stories is we had a second grade team from one of our schools hand deliver packets on Tuesday to every single one of their students. Fresno Unified is offering resources on its website and is working on getting work packets to students. And Clovis Unified sent thousands of emails on Wednesday to parents to ensure they're communicating. They also have buses delivering meals to students who live in rural communities. Whether that's distance learning, whether that's meal delivery and meal access, we're going to be here for our families. And districts across the valley will continue to serve those meals. You can find a list of those locations on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Live in studio, I'm Jocelyn Moran, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.